everyone so today I am doing something a little different I've done a lot of like infertility pregnancy related stuff lately and not a lot of fun stuff but the fun thing that I'm doing today is it's actually my birthday I am turning 28 dang damn it that was one of my facts I'll think of something else um so, so I thought that I would share with you 25 facts about me so the first fact is that my full name is Nicole Louise Orange. Where I got the Louise from, I don't know. I think it might actually be a grandparent's middle name. So I did put 28 years old today, but I already spoiled that one. So I'll do, um, I'm technically meant to wear glasses, but you guys will never really see me with glasses because I don't generally wear them for this exact reason that they, like, I don't generally wear them in my vlogs because you always see the reflections of, oh no I need them on now because I've been wearing them so I won't be able to see anything. I was born on the 2nd of May 1988. <laughs> that makes me sound so old. So my mother was actually going to call me Tamara when I was born but my dad couldn't say it. So now I'm Nicole. Um, I have a long lost friend called Rebecca Sell. I used to play with her a lot and I've got photos of her and I've searched for her on Facebook and everywhere and I cannot find her. So. Yeah, I've just got so many memories of having this friend who would come down for the holiday. She was in Auckland, um, so if anyone knows a Rebecca Sell from Auckland, get in touch with me. <laughs> My favourite meal is pork roast of all the trimmings. The crackle, the apple sauce, the roast potatoes, the vegetables, oh my gosh, yum. And second to that is a roast chicken with all the trimmings of like cheese sauce and gravy. Oh my gosh, yum. So my seventh thing is I really enjoy planning parties. So everybody used to always give me so much crap about doing big parties for the kids. But then when I keep doing them, keep doing them, I'm just like, oh, okay. That's Nicole's thing. And now they're kind of disappointed if I didn't do something. So yeah, I really like to put a lot of effort into my kids' birthday parties and my own birthday parties. Um, probably more the kids these now, like these days. Um, but before kids, Mum and I used to have like themed parties all the time. Uh, when I was 15, I got really, really drunk and really, really sunstroked. And, and I got really sick, really sick. And I was vomiting a lot. And I vowed from that day on that I would never drink again. So um, I think probably at my 15 year old age, I probably meant that I would never uh, get drunk again. Um, but I've kind of kept to the never drinking again because I don't drink alcohol. I don't, I don't really choose to drink alcohol at all. Um, I just don't like the taste of it. So I'm, if I if I go out somewhere, I don't get a wine or a beer or anything. I literally get like a raspberry lemonade or an orange juice. Number nine, I can't do math. I can't do it at all. My favorite color, if you didn't know, um, is pink. Number eleven, I told Marty I wanted to marry him only three months into our relationship. <laughs> I was really in love with him. He was my first boyfriend too, like I'd never had a boyfriend before and um, I had lots of friends who were boys but never a relationship and so Martin was my first relationship and I was just smitten with him. So three months into our relationship I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to marry you and he thought the same thing and then next minute, well not next minute, about 18 months into our relationship we got engaged. Number 12, I shifted out of home when I was 14. I've come from a very um, broken brutal family background I guess you could say like my stepdad was being really horrible horrible to me basically number 13 I've never smoked or done drugs so surprisingly even with that upbringing I never touched drugs and I've never touched a cigarette ever number 14 when I was three I got bitten by a dog let's see this guy here it's because I got bitten by a dog when I was three. I was sitting down, it was a party, the dog got excited, and I was the thing that it attacked. So I have a scar there, so it clenched onto me like this. So I've got a scar there, and there's a scar that goes along there. So this scar sucks though, because it ruins my eyebrow, because it cuts into my eyebrow. Number 15, I got my first bee sting only last year. <laughs> it kind of fell off my car and into my shoe, and it stung me, yeah. I was 16, I used to collect fairy stuff. I used to have this table in my room and it had fairy books, it had fairy like ornaments, it had anything with fairies on it. So I was 17, if you're not from New Zealand you probably don't have a clue what I'm talking about, but I used to be part of the What Now Club. Number 18 is I love to read and I am a very fast reader. I catch mice with my bare hands. I've actually even caught a rat with my bare hands once before. Um, but yeah, I've caught many, 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 many mice over the years and 
a few years ago I actually got bitten by a mouse because I like was looking at it going, oh it's a new baby one, it's so cute, and it bit me, and instead of letting go, I held on to it and going, ow, it bit me, so then it bit me for a second time, and um, Martin was all worried and freaking out that I was going to get some disease or something, so he made me go to my doctor to get a tetanus injection, and the whole time my doctor was laughing at me, because he was like, who the hell gets bitten by a mouse? 20. I used to be afraid of farms, and I think it stems back to the fact that my dad used, so I didn't live with my dad, I stayed with him in the weekends, so my dad used to live in these really creepy old houses all my life, they were always in the middle of nowhere on these creepy farms, and the house would be so old and falling apart, and the curtains wouldn't close properly, and me and my sister used to fight over who used to sleep by the wall with the window of the curtains that didn't close properly, and um, I remember watching this program, I was really, really little, and I watched this program about how this farmer came out and saw that all of his cows were slaughtered and it showed all this footage of these slaughtered cows and they couldn't figure out why and they thought it was aliens and all this stuff like right now I'm thinking that's so funny but um obviously as a little kid that's quite scary and I was on this farm in the middle of nowhere and I was just terrified of cows and farms and then I married a dairy farmer so I kind of had to get over that fear and now I like farms farms are good I'm 21 I used to run a youth group with Martin we did that for a few years and then our lives just got so busy and we just did not have enough time for each other so we stood down from doing youth group um, so we could spend more time with each other. For 22, um, one year our church like youth group was doing um, the 40 hour famine and me and Martin cheated because we were just so hungry. We were running the, um, the camp and we were running the 40 hour famine at that camp and we were so utterly exhausted. We were up and down all night with all these kids and we were running around after everyone. And that takes a lot of energy and we were just so hungry. So we ended up sneaking to McDonald's, getting some McDonald's and eating it at the train station and then going back and catching up with the camp. <laughs> you know what, that's actually probably my worst confession. Number 23, um, I was part of the St. John's demo. So I was, um, a St. John's Cadet or whatever it was called um, and one year we had to be in a scenario and these proper paramedic people, we were only learning, um, the proper paramedics had to come and like treat us and they got judged and stuff and one year I was um, a runaway from home kid and I was stuck outside at night and I got very cold and hypothermia so that was my little thing still lost my Barbie phone and I never forgave her. When I was a kid she threw my Barbie phone and I've never ever found it and I've never ever forgiven her. I'll never forgive you Stephen. And lastly number 25 is I can see not dead people, maybe they're dead, I don't know, but I see people. I don't know who they are, I don't know what they want, but I see them. And that's probably a long story so that's probably a different vlog but that is the 25th fact about me on my 28th birthday. I probably should have done 28 facts. Let's do 28 facts. Um, so the 25th fact is that yeah I can see stuff that's probably not meant to be there. The 6th fact is I love to bake. Big fan of sugar. I love sugar. I love baking. I love doing cakes. I love making yummy food. 27th fact. 27th fact. Um, I'm a clean freak. I'm an utter, like, clean, tidy freak. I hate mess. I hate dishes not being done. I hate beds not being made. I hate vacuuming not being done. I've always got to clean. Always cleaning. And it reminds me of that movie, um, Wally, -E, where Wally's -E making tracks and then there's that little machine that goes after him cleaning up the dirt. I'm kind of like that. As much as I can be with two kids. And the lucky last fact, 28th fact is that that um, in the summer holidays with my friends when I was a teenager we used to go um, and get a two litre tub of ice cream from the supermarket, we'd buy some plastic spoons, we'd go buy some chocolate sauce and we'd go sit under the bridge in our town somewhere and we'd go and scoff down this entire two litre tub of ice cream. That makes me sound like such a hungus. But we had so much fun and there'd be like four of us just eating this two litre tub of ice cream, not just me obviously. But those were the best summer holidays. I loved my summer holidays as a teenager. I had so much fun and I kind of miss being a teenager now that I'm 28. <laughs> But um, yeah, so um, thank you so much for watching my 28 facts about me for my 28th birthday. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoyed finding out uh, some different information about me. Um, 
it's pretty fun. I might do another one of these and think of another 28 packs later on in the year. Or you might have to wait till my 29th birthday. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Comment if you want to and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, bye!